Today I'm going to present the latest development with my radically short prototype I've done. So this is the final prototype. So overall it weighs about 380 gram with this tab. This is in comparison with the original one. So this is the one from Axis. So this is the Silly Short with, uh, again, 300 stab cut to 250 millimeters. This thing weighs about 150 grams with the stab. This one, 350. In terms of difference, this is about cutting one pound on the overall weight of the, um, of the foil. So this is the same thing I presented you last time. I moved the foil all the way forward by machining this pocket. Now what I did compared to last time, I remove all the back part here. So I drilled the hole, 15, 15 millimeter hole. I replaced the rear part with aluminum with an allo carbon tube. This is 15 millimeter carbon with a two millimeter thick wall. I fixed it inside with some brass insert that I machined myself and I put some, uh, some uh, tap into it so I can just screw it in. I tested it, this is really stiff. So all of this is only hold by this screw and it's stiff, it doesn't move. I tested it, it works well. In order to attach my stab to that tube, I simply 3D printed a little part that you see here that makes sure that everything fits perfectly and I have printed many parts with different angle to find what would be the perfect fit. So it's really close to neutral, but it's a slight negative angle, but it's about like minus 0.25 degrees that, that works the best. And I tested it, I write it uh, today for about three hours. It feels great. It feels uh, really maneuverable. I'm really allowed to turn around and this thing is light. So if I show you a little more, how, how does it look like? You can see here, so before going here, this is an overall view with the no limits mast. So you see how fast, how far forward the mast has moved. Then you can see with the wing, this is the Art 799 uh, wing. This is the overall uh, look. You can see here uh, how the mast connect to the fuselage here. I add to machine to mill the uh, connection of my little no limit mat so that there is no drag and now I don't feel the drag at all when I'm riding it and here you can see I needed to add one additional bolt as I presented the last time so that it can bolt directly into the mast insert and one thing I needed to do with the no limits mast is that because I moved the mast so far forward it doesn't fit with regular tracks of normal board so I add to build myself and kind of adapter plate. So this is what you can see here that goes on the no limits mask so that I can move forward farther the holes. So this is a five mil carbon plate. So what I, I did is I, I bolted here the, um, the, the screws from the plate directly into the mask. And now I can move the mask all the way to that position. And in that position, I'm all the way my back, my rear foot, all the way back on the track pad that you don't see it is on the other side. So I'm as far backwards as my uh, feet can be and it feels good, okay? Ultimately, I would need to move that mass farther forward, but in that position, that, for, uh, that much forward for the mass, it feels good. It feels rideable. I, I don't feel like my position is off. It would be a little better if I would be more centered on the board, but it's still acceptable. So I, I wrote it today for a couple of hours. It feels great. It feels really maneuverable. It feels really light. It feels really like it wants to turn, no more lateral. Here you can see me jump. It's even better for the jump because now since the mast move a lot forward, I remove some weight. It's easier to jump, easier to land because the mass, the, the weight is more centered uh, on the center of the board. So it works even better for jumps. It's more maneuverable. I'm able to really make some nice turn. Today it was a small day. Again, not much wind these days, but it works well, okay? It really allows to, as I said, free the foil around the vertical axis, so my yaw axis. I'm able to really pivot the board really quickly. Uh, I didn't felt any issue with the stiffness of the rear part. Even that 15 mil carbon tube, it feels like rock solid. So I don't felt, it didn't felt any flex, didn't felt any limitation issues. It works really well. And overall, it shed out some weight compared to the original one and it feels great while riding it. 
in terms of pitch stability with that thing the whole length is 45 centimeters i didn't felt like i needed more support for pitch stability it feels more than stable enough i have no problem and it frees that yaw uh, axis so that i can pivot around the mass and if i am moving that mass forward it really helps on that aspect so overall at a great time this foil is really predictable it behaves really well it's still glide I felt no impact whatsoever on either pumping ability or taking off. It really seems to affect the capacity to pivot the, mass, the foil around the mass, which open up the capacity to make sharp turns, carve and really pivot. So overall, this thing of moving the mass only seems to affect that maneuverability without bringing any negative aspect. So what's next? For that foil, I'm pretty much finished. Now the next step is really to look at how can I really build a, a full part from scratch. So this is what I, I designed. So I reverse engineers the shape of the axis fuselage so that I can build either with 3D printing or CNC. So this is my latest uh, design. This is what I'm gonna be working on. So you can see here, if I make a cut view, you can see here, uh, what is it gonna look like? It's gonna directly adapt to the normal standard uh, mass connection. This is the pocket you can see here. I just cut the view here so you can see. These are the three holes. These two holes are the holes that's gonna bolt in the mast. And as you can see here, I directly have the insert to make a 15 millimeter carbon tube, the same as I have here. And this one is not gonna be with a screw, it's gonna be with a bolt. So the next step is gonna to be to work with a 3D printer to make sure that I've dialed all the details correctly with this one and then try with a, a high quality 3D print or with aluminum CNC. This is what I'm gonna be working next. But overall, I'm really, really stoked with the end result I got with that radically short fuselage prototype. It really changed the right. And for me, it changed it for the best. It, didn't affect negatively any aspect of the ride. It reduced the weight, improvement in maneuverability, and uh, it, it feels good. It really feels like a big improvement. I really hope the brands are gonna jump into this as soon as possible so that you can all test it. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are gonna enjoy it.